Welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and in this Blender 2.82 tutorial I'm gonna show you everything you want to know about the loop cut tool. With the loop cut tool selected I'm hovering over this edge and this edge. It will show me a preview of the cut it will create and when I click with the left mouse button it has actually created the cut. And if I look around the object I see that the cut is actually looping around it and that's why they call it loop cut. Now let me undo this and click again but this time keep the mouse pressed and now when I drag I can move the cut along the edges. It actually enters edge slide mode. Let me move this up here and take a look at the options and here for example I can change the number of cuts. Pretty useful and with the factor I can still move them back and forth just as if I would use the regular edge slide mode. Now the option smoothness is pretty interesting because when I increase it you see it bulges out or when I decrease it it shrinks towards the inside and the smoothness option is actually pretty useful when you have a subdivision surface modifier on your object because the usually the subsurf modifier um, gives us a bit of a curvature but when I turn the number of cuts to 4 you see that up here the curvature is gone com for good because the um, cuts are placed along a straight line. So introducing smoothness and I get the curvature back again. And the default fall off that calls itself inverse square is actually the one that works best with the uh, subsurf modifier. You can try the other ones as well. Smooth also gives pretty good results but usually I keep it at inverse square. Now let me create a new cut to show you the option down here even. When I turn this on you see now that the cut here has changed its shape. Beforehand it was a straight line. Now it actually has the same shape as the edge down here and if I turn on flipped it gets the same shape as the edge up here. Now for the clamp option let me turn the factor up to let's say 2 and you see it actually reads 1 here but when I turn off clamping I can write 2 and it works. Which is probably something you will use rarely but it's nice that the developers allow things like this. So now let me turn on clamping again, move the factor into the middle and I give this a texture and usually when I move the edge up or down with the factor you see that the texture on the object is not changing but when I turn off correct UVs now you see that the texture is actually stretched and squashed and that's because it's no longer updating the UV maps with what I'm doing here. And this might depending on the situation this might be exactly what you want to have as well. Now let's keep this one in the middle and let's switch the tool and I want to use the other tool in here so I click here and uh, wait a little bit then I get a drop down and now I choose offset edge loop cut and before that let me delete this face here. Delete faces select the offset edge cut, loop cut again and alt click this edge here. So what the offset edge loop does is doing when I click and drag it um, creates two new edge loops to the top and to the bottom or to the sides of the edge loop I had selected and it has the same options like for example um, correct UVs as the um, loop cut. It doesn't have the smoothing option and it has another new option here and that reads cap endpoint. And when I turn this on you see that down here it creates triangles. It doesn't create them up here because there's nothing where no connection where you could create them but it creates them for the one down there. So this is depending of what you need to create for in regard of geometry. And one thing you need to know about the cap endpoint is that it doesn't work with clamping. So no matter whether I have it turned on and off it can still you can still get what I call overshoot which will destroy your geometry so be careful with it. So this is the rundown by blenderdiplom.com of the loop cut and offset edge loop tools in Blender 2.82. 
I hope you learned something and if you like this kind of documentation videos, please leave um, your thoughts and thoughts about it in the comments below. And as always, do try this at home.